Okay, what we're going to be talking about today is slow reports in Metasoft. Now, um, we're talking about people that are mainly on version uh, 19 of Metasoft. This is where we notice that a lot of people have really slow reports, or if you've uh, previously been on version 19, meaning at one time you were using it and then you converted to a newer version, you still may be experiencing that problem. So I'm gonna show you today how to fix that problem. What I, what I mean by slow reports is if you go to this section of your reports, the, the Metasoft reports, um, and you try to run any of the reports from here, even like a, a simple day sheet report, even for uh, the current date, and uh, if you hit okay, it just kind of hangs and sits there sometimes for long periods of time, like 10, 15 minutes before any data actually uh, shows up on your screen and the report is finished running. So that's what we're gonna resolve today. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, first thing I, uh, I'm gonna want you to do is go ahead and exit out of your Metasoft program. If you're on a network version of Metasoft, meaning you have multiple people using Metasoft, get everybody out. Um, on the server computer, you're gonna go to, if, if you're a single user of Metasoft, like Metasoft Basic or Metasoft Advanced, um, then that's going to be the computer you have Metasoft installed on. But you're going to go to the, the, C, um, the C folder, and then you're going to go to a folder called Metadata, and lo this is the folder where your Metasoft data is contained. Um, now, what we're going to do, the, the problem is, is we need to, we're, we're going to replace this, this folder called Report Defs with a new one, and that's what's going to speed up the problem, or excuse me, speed up the reports. Um, before we do that, though, I just I just want to let you know, if you go into your reports and Metasoft reports, if, if you have uh, custom reports, those custom reports will be replaced. So take that into consideration when you do this. Uh, what I mean by custom reports here is that Metasoft comes with all of these reports, right? But if you've ever paid someone for a custom report or if you have if, if you have purchased the metasoft reports professional and you've edited your own reports in here then you have custom reports and those will be replaced those will need to be re-imported after we after we do this fix that i'm going to show you so just keep that in mind most of you the great majority on uh, of you watching this video will not have any custom reports in here and, and so you won't be affected but just keep it in mind if you have custom reports those will need to be re-imported after we do this. So go ahead and exit out of your Metasoft program, browse to that, uh, that metadata and then report defs. And, and what I want you to do is just make a copy of it. Um, so I've done that here. I've, I have the report defs copy. Now, if anything goes wrong or we, we, uh, we need to, to import custom reports, you have those, you have that uh, backed up here. But other than that, just go ahead and, and highlight the, the report defs and we're just gonna go ahead and delete this folder out. And, uh, and then we're gonna start Metasoft again. Now, what you're gonna notice here when we start Metasoft again is that it's gonna go ahead and recreate that report defs folder for us. Um, so here, here you see it checking the reports. Now it's rebuilding that report file. Let me move Metasoft over. My Metasoft is, is, is up now. You'll notice that the report devs folder is back. And now we have a clean new copy of that folder there. Uh, again, if I go to reports, Metasoft reports, you'll see all my, all my reports uh, that, that come with Metasoft are, are back and I can run those now. Um, so, so that's it. I mean, at this point, you should be able to go in and run your, your day sheets, your reports, and you should notice that they are much, much quicker than what they used to be. Uh, if so, then you, you resolve the problem. Now, if you have custom reports, you may want to do a file and import and browse to those custom report files uh, that you uh, have saved or backed up and, and re-import those in. Again, the majority of you won't need to do that. Um, there is there is another option, um, a, a second way to fix this message. However, if you can, uh, or excuse me, to fix this problem. However, if you can do it by by following the instructions that I've already given, go ahead and do it that way. The second option to do is a little more advanced. Uh, inside this report desk folder, there are uh, a couple of files that need to be replaced here called rep uh, item. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, rep field. ADT and rep field ADI. These two files would need to be replaced with blank ones. Uh, if you call your account rep here at ASCOMP, we can, uh, we can get you a link to download those two files and you can replace them. And that should resolve a lot of the issues as, as well. So uh, hope this uh, video helps. Um, hope, hope that uh, your reports start to run faster now as a result of this. 
And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please give us a call if we can help. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.